Hello everyone and welcome back to Birdcraft and on today's video I'm going to be teaching you how I made these really cute Legend of Zelda fairy charm uh, necklace and earrings and here is what the necklace looks like it's just a fairy in a jar and the materials you will need for this are these dragonfly wings um, I got them at Joann Fabrics this is what the back of the package looks like and here are the actual beads and here's the front of the package You'll need some bottles. I'm going to be using the bigger one to make a keychain, and the smaller one is going to be a necklace. You'll need earring backs, head pins, jump rings. Uh, you'll need some chain for the necklace, eye pins, a lobster clasp. I also got these acrylic jewels at Walmart. They're only like $3 a pack, but they have all the colors in it. E6000, a bee dreamer, or some other sharp edge like that. Um, I'll be using my tweezers to help with putting the jewels on, and I'll be using some of my jewelry tools. So let's start making the fairy. First, I'm going to grab my E6000, which is a metal glue, and use a toothpick to add a little bit of that to each of the center parts of the dragonfly beads. Next I'm going to go ahead and add my jewels and if you want it to look exactly like Navi you could take a blue sharpie around the edges of the jewel and it'll have that little glow that it has, that Navi has. Next I'm going to add a head pin to the bead and cut it and then I'm going to take and make the loop so it'll attach to the earrings. And don't forget to do it to a second dragonfly slash knob. Here's what they look like, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add the earring backs, which is very simple. You just hook it onto the loop, and here's what that looks like once it is finished. So we're finished our earrings. start making the bottle charm necklace. To do this you just start by adding your eye pin and making the loop just like you did with the earrings. And here's what that looks like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a jump ring through that and then attached an eye pin. And now we can start putting it into the bottle. You just want to put it in on its side and it should fit perfectly if you have the right size bottle. Here's what mine looks like. And now I'm going to take my bead reamer and I'm just going to put a hole through the cork. This will make it easier for me to stick the eye pin through. And the eye pin should just go right through really easily. To secure my cork, I'm going to be using some E6000, which also works well on glass like this. And just put the cork in and let the glue dry. I'm going to go ahead and situate my eye pin where I want my knobby to float in the bottle. And then I'm going to cut the wire and twirl it to make the loop and I'm going to add a little bit of E6000 around the bottom of that eye pin so it doesn't move around too much. Now I'm just getting my jewelry prepared, the necklace. I added the lobster clasp and a jump ring to the ends so it closes. I'm going to add a jump ring to the center and attach the bottle trunk. I'm sorry it's a little blurry but here's what it looks like when it is done. So now you have a really cute little uh, fairy or knobby in a jar and earrings to match. And if you guys want to do your different colors, that pack of the acrylic jewel um, pieces, it has different colors in it so you could do whatever color fairy that you want to do. And I did a purple one 
in a jar and I added a little key ring thing to it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see any more of my videos, you can just click this little square right there and it'll take you to my last video. And if you want to see some more of my creations, in the description I have linked my store envy, so check it out.